Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I'm going to review this software called Tenorshare for YouKey. The company Tenorshare was kind enough to provide me with a copy of this software so I can do a review for you guys. I'm using a Macintosh, but you can have it for a PC also. First, I'm going to tell you what this software can do for you. It can remove a four digit or six digit passcode, touch ID and face ID from iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Remove a screen time passcode within seconds. Remove Apple ID from iPhone, iPad, iPod without a password bypass MDM screen and remove MDM profile, fix disable iPhone, iPad, iPod touch without iTunes or iCloud. And this is compatible with the latest iOS and iPad OS 15.5, iPhone 13, iPhone SE 3 and iPad Air 5 and more. So basically this software is compatible with the latest iOS devices. So this software is suitable for anybody that forgot their iPhone passcode. You know, this could happen anytime you can forget your passcode and you enter the wrong password too many times. So the iPhone is pretty much disabled iPhone screen broken can unlock your apple id has been disabled turn off find my iphone without a password it says remove every type of screen passcode so you can do a facetime or touch id or just the pin code right factory reset iphone without a password bypass mdm login screen with 100 percent success so this software is going to allow you to do a lot of stuff. What I'm interested in is to show you how to remove the four or six digit passcode. So I have an iPhone here and this is an iPhone 7 and I just wanted to show you that it's running the latest iOS and the latest iOS is 15.5. This is my account and I have find mine on, but I don't have any passcode so you can access the phone regularly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up touch ID. You go to settings, you go to touch ID and passcode. So first I'm going to add a passcode. So click on turn passcode on. For this example, I'm going to select the easiest passcode ever, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And Apple already know this. And it says this passcode can be easily guessed. So just use anyway. I'm going to confirm it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, don't use this passcode because it's really easy to guess. Okay. So I have this It's done. So the passcode is on now. Look at this. You see, it's asking me for a passcode. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the passcode. Now I'm going to set up also touch ID. Anybody that has a newer iPhone, you can use this software with face ID also. But in this case, I'm going to use touch ID. So I'm going to enter the passcode. I'm going to add a fingerprint touch ID. I'm going to put my fingerprint right here and it's complete. Okay. So now I have a fingerprint and I have a passcode. So if I do this, I can either enter the passcode or the touch ID. Okay, let's say you forgot your passcode and you have an iPhone like this. You know, if you try it too many times, it's gonna get locked though. Look at this, iPhone unavailable. Try again in one minute. Okay, so I have my iPhone with a passcode and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the software and this is the software guys called Tenorshare for Yuki and I'm gonna connect the phone to the computer. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna click start. It says unlock iOS screen. The Nordshare for Yuki will remove the lock screen without a passcode, touch ID or face ID. So I'm going to click next. It says not device detected. In order for the program to detect the device, please follow the steps below to put the device into recovery mode. So this is different from the iPhone 8 and about and the iPhone 7. So I'm going to select iPhone 7 and here is telling me to press and hold the power and volume down button at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. Power volume down. Okay. I'm going to press it until I see a logo that is going to tell me that the phone is in recovery mode. This is going to take a while guys. And the first thing you're going to see the Apple logo, keep pressing until you see the recovery mode icon. Keep, there you go. Okay. So now it's into recovery mode. So now we can do it. It says could not contact the iPhone software update server because you're not connected to the internet. Okay. That's a problem of the internet. And this is the finder window. So we don't need this. We're going to go back to the software and it's asking us to download the matching firmware. This software is going to update your iPhone to the latest iOS. So just click download. I already downloaded it before. So that's why it says firmware downloaded successfully. I'm going to click start remove and it says removing the screen lock. Please keep the network connected and do not use the device during the process. It's going to take approximately from three to five minutes. And now it says removing the screen lock. Please wait. The iPhone already turned off and now it's turning on again. As you can see here, the iPhone is being restored. You're going to lose your data. Any data that you have on the iPhone is going to be gone. But if you have an iCloud backup, 
it's going to be really easy to get back. One thing that I want to tell you guys is that I was using Find My iPhone. I hope that doesn't screw up the whole thing. But usually, in order to use this software, you need to have your Find My disabled. Now the iPhone is restarting. Let's see what happened. Look at the iPhone, guys. It's restoring again. So maybe this is like a second pass. And look at this, guys. A screen lock removed successfully, but the iPhone is still restoring. Let's wait for this, guys. I'm going to click Done here, and the iPhone already finished. Let's see if it's true. I'm going to click here, and look at this, guys. The iPhone is ready to set up. I'm going to click English, United States, set up manually. I'm going to connect to my network. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So that means the iPhone is communicated with the Apple servers to check that the iPhone is activated and there's no lock. Oh, look at this, iPhone lock to owner. But this is okay because I do have my account. So I'm just gonna log into my account. I think this happened because I do have my Find Mine on. If you don't want to log into your Apple ID, you're gonna need to disable Find Mine, okay? Data and privacy. Set up later. Don't use. Passcode, I'm going to put don't use passcode, don't use passcode, don't transfer apps and data, uh, click here and set up later, don't use, agree, continue, and you're going to skip all this, And that's it, guys. We were able to use our iPhone without knowing the passcode or the touch ID. So we bypassed that. So once you restore your iPhone, then you can put the content back using your backups. If you have an iCloud backup or a backup on your computer, you can use it and you're going to get all your data back. But we were able to successfully remove the passcode and the touch ID. And again, this software works with Face ID also. So if you have a newer iPhone, it should work too. And that concludes our tutorial, guys. I do recommend this software. I mean, it works. So if you have that problem that you forgot your passcode or your touch ID or you cannot access your phone and you have a passcode on your iPhone, I suggest you to use this software to remove it and you will have to start again. This is your friend Alex. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Bye.